Yep, so welcome to the poll class. Um, last poll class before we start, I'll explain later. We obviously need a poll or umbrella. And as I mentioned before, when we're using the pole, lightish grip, but think about pulling in, pushing in, sorry, pulling out, and keep those shoulders down. So the areas of the body we're looking to work, shoulders and the muscles, especially all the way around the rib cage. Fantastic. So bearing in mind, morning Juliet, by the way, <laughs> hopefully you can hear me, hopefully you can hear the music. Let us start our warm up. So we start very simply with the hands down. We're just going to shrug forwards. So shrug and shrug. Gentle walking with the feet. Now while we're shrugging, keep that body tall. So get that body tall, core engaged. Let's shrug back the other way. So shoulders open and as big a shoulder movements as we can. Wonderful. Let's keep going here. Lovely. Now keep the legs going. Bar comes out the front and simply turn and turn and turn. So we're just keeping the hands at arms, or the hands are at shoulder height. And we're just twisting through. Fantastic. Get those movements going. Only about 30 seconds each one. Three, two, one. Wonderful. Keep the bar here. Now just tap forward and down and up, down. Now double time, down, up, down. Does that work? Strong on the core, make it half speed if that doesn't work. Now we're going to go up. So let's slow down, keep the bar here and up, down. Now this is where we really start thinking about form. So, tapping the foot in front is irrelevant. It's just to do something with the legs. Keep the back absolutely still. Keep that core engaged. Keep those shoulders down and squeeze those arms in. Get those shoulders working. Four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Now, walking here. We're going to jab sideways, jab, jab. Opposite leg comes out. So we need core engaged. We reach and jab, jab, jab. So body stays still, core stability. Jabbing. Four, three, two, and one. So we're still warming up. Come back to marching. You know that is my signal to what on earth am I doing next? <laughs> so we're going to bring our arms out the front. We're going to tap the legs behind and the arms are going to come slowly up to the side. Tap and tap and tap. So opposite arm, opposite leg as we stretch. Keep those shoulders down. Squeeze in on the bar first of all. Activate those inner, inner shoulders and biceps. Now, while we're doing this, pull out on that bar. Triceps and the back start activating. Really feel the difference. Keep that core absolutely still and squeezed in. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Now, marching through. We're going to march just a little bit wider so our feet come to around hip width. We're going to move forward ever so slightly, just a tiddly bit. I'm not hinged right forward, I'm just leaning ever so slightly forward. Move up, twist through the waist, twist, twist. So the movement is from the waist and the arms follow. Squeeze those arms in together, keep those shoulders down. Can we do a little bit faster? Don't if you don't like it. Not for everyone. Four, three, two, one. So coming back in, place the bar 
on the back of our shoulders. Feet come to hip width apart, little bounces again just for something to do. Twist, twist, come up tall. The twist is from the waist, but the bar is keeping our shoulders and our rib cage all as one unit. Wonderful, just feel that core working. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to add on, keep those legs bouncing away, arms overhead. Hopefully you can see my arm. When we twist, the front arm's going to drive round. So can we get a little bit of extra twist out of that core? Keep those shoulders down away from the ears and squeeze those hands together. So try moving them in. We are working the biceps and the shoulders. Squeeze in. Now pull out. Keep twisting for four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Arms back down and just shrug that off. Walking back to the middle. Quick shrug here. Okay. Oh, yes. This one. Dumb waiter. So feet come to hip width. We're holding underarm. Usually in dumb waiter, we open out like that. We can't, we've got a bar, we're going one side, then the other. Here we go. One side, other side. Now it takes a bit of getting used to, but keep your hips and shoulders pointing towards the camera. So keep those hips and shoulders absolutely still. Just move, weird feeling, from, well, it's moving from the arms really, but you should be feeling it around here, out a bit of shoulder. Do another four, three, really an arm movement, one, fantastic. Grabbing back overhand, we're going to do forward knee raises. Easy. Um, what are we doing? 50, 50, raise to shoulders, there we go. Now squeeze in. We're just tapping the top of the knee. Keep that body tall. Four, three, two, one. Now pull out with the hands as we do a much bigger movement. Pulling out, working those triceps. Keep tall. Keep that back stable. Four, three, two, and one, brilliant. So lateral lean, arms above head. Hopefully again, I'm not disappearing into the ether. Engage that core, squeeze the arms in, shoulders seated. Are we ready? We're going to lean this way. Here we go. Down for two and up, use that waist. Now the arms, the shoulders, and the rib cage are one unit. Little bounce on the feet if you want to. Now we're going to go double time. Here we go. Down, up. Move from the waist, not just the arms. Tempting just to waggle the arms around. Squeeze them in. We've got four more. Four. Three. And breathe. Two. And one, fantastic. Drop the arms down, shrug the shoulders. I'll turn the page. Memory like a sieve as ever. Hip hinges, great thing about a pole is we can put it just on our shoulders. I'm turning three quarters here. We're going to hip hinge down for two and up for two. Down for two. So what it's doing, that pole is encouraging us to keep a long back. The spine doesn't move. The whole movement generated from the glutes, from the hips. Fantastic. Just keep looking slightly ahead. We've 
got four more. Get those glutes working if you can. Squeeze them together, core still engaged. Last one. Fantastic, still warming up different planes. We're going to canoe. Jane, you were there beforehand. We're going to go canoe and canoe. So this lifting through the knee. While we're doing it, pull the hands apart. Work those triceps. Keeping that tension on the upper body through the shoulders as we twist through the back. Not easy. We've got four and three, two and one. Brilliant. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's it. Raise stick overhead. <laughs> stick to here. So get that position. Squeeze the arms together. Bring the stick down to horizontal. Small low kicks to start off with. Twisting through the body. Just leading with that heel. As ever, trying not to flick too much from the knee. And gradually, we're going to go higher now. So up for two, down. Up for two, down. So see if you can get that foot up towards the pole. And up and down. So control that down as much of a movement as the up. Four. Three. Two. Keep that back strong. One. Wonderful. We had to do it. A squat. So, bar over the back of the neck, across the shoulders, not resting on the neck. We're going down for two and up for two. So, same squat rules apply as ever. Feet flat on the ground, knees travelling in the direction of the toes and not too much further forward than the toes, if at all. If you don't like the bar on your back, just bring it to the front. It is a peculiar feeling with the bar on the back. It kind of pushes you forward slightly. We're doing four more. Four. And three. Two. And one. So from here, bicep curls. So, oh, now we're going to do legs first. So leg curls, underhand grip, squeeze, squeeze, down, down, squeeze, squeeze. So we are our own resistance when it comes to that bar. Squeeze into the biceps. Elbows are against the body. Keep those knees down as well. Two things to think about. Four, three, two, and one. Very last bit of the warm up. Arm behind the body. Tricep pushbacks. Step left and right, and push back. So my arms are just pushing up, working into those triceps. Squeezing through the back of the shoulders. Now push the arms together. Push them together. A little bit of biceps come in. Now pull them apart. So we're really challenging those triceps. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. We're warmed up, hopefully. So we have worked through every plane in the body. We now have our main session. So we have four sets. Each set dealing with a different movement. Some are twisting, some are lateral, some are a mixture. But each one has a bit of cardio as well because I wouldn't want us to miss out on the hopping about if you want to. Each move is a minute long. Feel free to do it all, not a lot if you don't want to. First one is going to be knee to hip height. Um, I lied. Knee to hip height with the bar on the shoulder, twisting through. Then we're going to add a hop. So, oops, there you go. So if you're ready, this is all about, this whole set is about transverse twists. 
two, one. So twist, twist, twist. So we start off relatively nice and safe, stable, etc. So to make it more challenging initially, lift that knee higher. So knee to opposite end of the stick. Four, three, two, add a hop if you want to. Last 30 seconds, so really get that twist in. The main move here is the twist. Hops are optional. Knee just coming right out the front. I'm never very good at demonstrating that. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. Can you hop just a little bit higher while twisting? Keeping the shoulders and rib cage and core engaged. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Next exercise for lower body. All about squatting. We have a minute of squats. So the first one is what's called a bent squat. We're going to squat down, press up while we're there, and stand up. First 30 seconds, squat down, press up, come down, up. Down, press while we're down, and up. Brilliant, all got it. We will change halfway. So it's called a bent squat. I think it's after a Mr. Bent, B-E-N-D-T, who was German. I apologize if he was Austrian. Okay, we're changing, we're coming up and we're pushing. So now don't do that squat in the, don't do that press in the middle. Just come down, push up on the up and twist. Down, press, down, and press and twist. We've got 15 more seconds. Down, press and twist. Down, press and twist. Oh, and four. Three, two, and one. Brilliant. I can't read my own writing. There we go. Right. So, this is a hinge. We're going to hinge forward, feet apart. Here we go. So, hinge forward, rotate to the right, rotate to the left, back to the middle, and up. Hinge, left, right, and up. Here we go. Fantastic. Don't drag on your back or neck. Just let that bar rest lightly. Feel that twist through the center of the body. Engage the core so that you're not hurting that lower back. Keep going. We have 20 seconds to go. So feeling that twist. Always come back to the center when we're coming up and down. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. Last one of this set, a split stance. So we're going to start off with one leg in front. Bar is held down, shoulders back and down. We're going to go left and right, twisting through the body. Three, two, one. So the movement comes from the body. So squeeze those arms together. So really feel that the shoulders and the rib cage are as one. Movement comes from the body. Arms and shoulders are just following. Core is doing all the work. We've got five seconds and we're going to swap legs. If that's hurting your lower back, engage the core more, swap leg. And now pull out with the arms. So we've changed legs, we're pulling out, we're working the triceps. As I was saying, if your lower back's hurting, stand a little bit more upright. Here we go, so pulling out with those arms. Brilliant. We've only got 10 seconds left, so twisting through, concentrate on that twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Right, we've got a short break to the next set. So grab a drink if you need one. I'm going to turn my heating down because I set it high because it was a bit chilly in the morning. There we go. 
Next set is going to be lateral work, which is side to side. So we've got about 40 seconds. Just grab a little bit of water. So the first cardio, just to demonstrate, will be knees to our infamous 45 degrees. As we do this, we're going to be touching and touching. So that's our first one. And after about 20 seconds, we're going to introduce a hop, if you want to. Ah, the rest of them, we shall work out when we get there. So we've got five seconds. Stick overhead, push in with the hands. So seat those shoulders, push in. So we're leaning from the body. Lower back, obliques really working. So get that movement first of all. So as ever with this, hops are optional. If you want to start hopping, absolutely still squeeze in for another 10 seconds. I'll give us the signal, we'll squeeze out. We are still leaning. Now with our arms, pull outwards. So the last 30 seconds are all about triceps. Keep those shoulders down. Move from that core. 15 seconds left. Doing brilliantly. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, take a short break. Forward lunges. We're going to lunge forward, hold the bar down by our sides. Alternate legs. Hold the bar here, bring it up to horizontal, and now sweep down. Come back up. Sweep down and up. So we're starting with bar horizontal, bringing it down to the side of the body, and up. Fantastic, we're going to add on. We're just going to make this movement bigger if you would like to. Three, two, one. Now we're going to start from above head and as we lunge forward, touch the floor. So big lunge, touch the floor, back up. Lunge, floor, up. Or anywhere in between those two extremes. It is difficult to get that bar on the floor. So if it is, don't do it. We've only got five seconds more time for one more lunge. Three, two, one. Brilliant, well done. Lateral lunges. More arms above head, I'm afraid. Now, if you don't like arms above head, I should have said at the beginning, keep your arms out the front. No need to have them up here if you don't want to. If you would like to, bar just overhead. Hold it here as we simply lunge left and right, squeezing in. So keep that bar horizontal and overhead. Easy, easy. Squeeze the arms in, activate the shoulders. We're going to add on, surprisingly. Let us lean, so really stretch and lean, and stretch and lean, and stretch and lean. So we are simply just leaning left and right. The bar and the arms are adding extra weight to our core. We have 15 seconds left. Use that core, use that waist to pull us up. We've got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Wonderful, walk those feet in for the last move of this set. Um, that's it. Rotate hip hinge, lovely. Okay, so this is another hip hinge one. Start with the bar above the head, rotate this way. Roll that bar down the body. As we come down low, we're hip hinging over this foot, sweep up with the bar straight. Rotate the other way, down the body, engage the glutes and sweep up. Turn down near the body and sweep away. Brilliant. 
Use the glutes, not the lower back, to get back up. So this is a glute exercise, not a back exercise. So really think glute. We have 15 seconds left. Final exercise of this particular set. Down we come. Five seconds, time for one more. Two, one. Brilliant, have a quick shake off. If that is hurting through the waist, through the lower back, have a quick, a quick boogie, shaking the lower back out. Two more sets to go, then we're down on the mat. Set three is a mixture, so grab a drink if you want to. We have a little bit of jogging. We have some rear lunges. Oh, yes. We have a single leg deadlift, 50-50. And we have a prisoner get up. So all good fun. For the prisoner get up, the option will be, instead of going down on a mat, will be to step over. Forward and back, step over a large imaginary obstacle. If not, we'll be kneeling down. So please be aware of that. Okay. Cardio, stick out the front, squeeze the arms together, get the pulse, can you feel it? Two, one, pulse quickly, can you feel it in your core? Good, excellent, while we're doing that, start jogging. <laughs> so still squeeze in with the arms, squeezing in, keep that core absolutely rock solid because the lower back wants to arch don't have to jog the whole way but if you do feel free now we've got three seconds two one pull outwards with the hands work those shoulders and triceps shoulders down keep pulsing it's horrible this one <laughs> keep that core strong all the way through squeeze it in we've got ten seconds left Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Oh, wow. Shake the arm off. Rear lunge is the next one. So in the rear lunge, we're going to start off, sedate and work up a little bit. Start with the pull down against the thighs. As we rear lunge, it comes up and taps the knee. Comes up. Tap all the same leg for 30 seconds. To add on, don't tap the knee, tap the ankle. Squeeze those arms together, activate the shoulders. And activate, so coming up as tall as we can. Lovely. Two, one, swap those legs over. So same move, start off by just tapping the knee, just to get the movement. When and if you're ready, squeezing those arms together, tap, lower down the shin. 10 seconds to go, that's all. Four, three, two, one. Wonderful. Whew. Next one, two, Single leg deadlifts, 30 seconds each one. Bar will be held, shoulder width. Come into a single leg deadlift on one leg. Slightly bend that supporting knee. When we're in position, just hold it and row up with the arms, squeeze them together and down. Keep doing that for 30 seconds, then we change legs. Squeezing those arms together. Hold that position so the whole body is working. We have 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Swap legs, exactly the same. In fact, no, not exactly the same, I've lied. So come down into position, this time. Arms up and arms down. Engage the core as we move the center of gravity. Not a good example there, me falling over. 
We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Brilliant work. Oh, so, last one. Prisoner get up. So it's optional to get down on the mat. It's useful to have a padded surface. So the prisoner get up. We will have the bar overhead. We will kneel back down, kneel down, then with the same leg come up again. And we will do 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds the other. So four, three, two, one. Alternatively, just step over an imaginary barrier. Squeeze those hands together. Come on up. So down, down, up, up. Squeezing the arms together. Working the top of the shoulders. Shoulders seated, core engaged. Brilliant. Try not to arch that lower back. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two. Now change legs. Pull the arms outwards. Work the triceps and upper back. Fantastic, looking really good. I'm not yet to work out whether this is actually easier if you're shorter, because you've got less distance to travel. We've got 12 seconds left. Pulling outwards with the arms, shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful work. That's three sets gone. Final set. See, plenty of time. Uh, that one, lovely. So get rid of the mats, because the final set, we don't need mats again. Whew. So this set, relying on lateral moves again. This time, instead of keeping our legs wide, oh, well, I'll get, I'll explain it later, but we'll be doing lateral lunges, so I'll explain it when we get there. We've got 20 seconds, but we are starting off with hand above head, and we will be doing those touches again because they are just so brilliant. Five seconds, four, three, two, stop it you two, one, and touch and up. So, squeezing the arms together, get that motion. This movement is in the core, leaning down, leaning that body to tap towards the knee. If you want to, Add a hop. So we've got 30 seconds. So remember it's a lateral movement. Great to do the hopping, but think of the body. 15 seconds left. Ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant work. Excuse me just a second while I play with the clock. There you go. So fantastic work. Next one. This is where we're going to do lateral lunges. Stick out the front initially. So unlike last time where we had feet apart, we're actively lunging. Three, two, one. Pull out the front, lunge one way and up. Lunge the other way, up. So keep lunging, shoulders down, pushing in with the arms. We will of course add on in a minute, in a moment. Two more, let's add on, arm overhead and lean. And lean as we lunge and lean. We've got 30 seconds to go. And lean, so we're forever really working the sides of the body. Fantastic. 15 seconds, squeeze those arms together. Shoulders engaged. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Arms down, excellent work. Ooh. Forward lunge. It's those ones again. Alternate legs, hands out the front. Lunge forward, pole comes down just to our sides, twist through the waist and back up. Forward lunge, twist. So squeeze those arms together. Twist through the waist when we're down. Now we're going to add on if you want to. Start up here and as we come down, go as low as you can and come straight back up. Down. 30 seconds to go. Push in one dynamic move to come back up. And push and up. 15 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful, arms down. Final move of the standing part is that hip hinge where we're coming down the body and hinge up. If you don't like the arms away, keep them close to the body. Arms up for the final time. Twist this direction. Move that pole down the body. Hip hinged, lift the arms, sweep them away, use the glutes. Twist the other way. Roll that pole down the body and then use the glutes to get back up. Fantastic. Down we come. Very much concentrating on the glutes. Now pulling your arms apart on the bar, working the triceps. Excellent. Down we come. And up. 20 seconds, that's all. Keep twisting and moving. And keep breathing, obviously. So down we come, last few, 10 seconds to go. Twist, and down, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Let's have just a quick, quick twist off. Relaxing, arms down, just twist. If you want to, just lift off, just loosening that lower back. So keep that movement going. A little bit of a wiggle left and right as well. A lot of the mat work does involve this twisting motion, so be prepared. Talking of mats, we're coming down on them now. So grab a mat. I'm going to angle my screen down. The rest of the session is on the mat. No hurry at all. Crunch, no hurry at all. First one. First one is quite naturally a Russian twist. Only 40 seconds each, these core exercises. I think a minute would be cruel. We start off first 10-15 seconds with our feet on the floor. We're going to twist and tap the end of the pole on the mat, then twist through the waist, tap the other end, trying to keep the hip bones and the knees still. If you would like to, after that, we're going to lift up, keeping that lower back steady, i.e. not arching. We're going to do the rest. So off we go, 40 seconds, so feet together. Tap, tap, engaging that core. If you do Pilates, the spine should be in a slight C curve, so we're not arching in the lower back. Now lift those feet off the floor if you want to. Last 20 seconds. Keep that, try and keep that lower back from arching. Engage the front of the core. We have 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. 
Wonderful. So here we are coming to a set of exercises where I need to take my trainers off because my arms aren't long enough. I do reckon if you have arms like a gibbon, it does help <laughs> for these ones. We are going to be moving the pole under the feet. And for me, every millimetre helps <laughs> when trying to get that pole moving. Let's just put that over there. In fact, over there so I can see it. First one. We are going to start doing a standard curl up. So we will be on the mat. We will have the bar on our thighs and we will be curling up, curling down. So we'll start like that, keeping the shoulder blades on the mat and really engaging the core, pushing the bar up as high as possible. Once we've done three or four of those, the add-on is to keep that crunch, lift the knees up, tap under the thighs, in fact, tap the feet on the floor and come back down. So we'll be pushing up, tap, tap. Easy as that. I just wish I had longer arms. So three, two, one, off we go. So it's just starting off using the core, crunching up, coming down. If you know you don't like forward flexion, look up at the ceiling and keep that spine neutral. Last one coming up, hold here. Lift the knees up, sweep that bar underneath, tap the feet on the floor, come back, crunch down. Crunch up and hold. We've got 20 seconds to go. And up. 10 seconds. Crunch. Time for one more. And crunch. Three, two, one. Fantastic work. Okay. So if you enjoyed that, the next one is its big brother. So this one involves a little bit of balance as well. You can, of course, do the previous exercise, but there is a slightly more advanced version called the V-sit. So a V-sit is tucking our pelvis under, is effectively going like that, small rocks. Except after the first few small rocks, we're going to loop tap without, in theory, touching the feet on the floor. So 40 seconds, we'll start with just a couple of rocks and then we'll work up from there. Are you ready to go? Three, two, one. So just a little, just get into it first of all, keeping that pelvis tucked in so we're not arching the back. Now if you want to add on, We have 20 seconds to go. Keep that lower back strong. Pelvis tip towards you. 10 seconds. Five, four, whoop, three, two, one. I was doing so well. Brilliant work. Well done. I was doing so well to that very last minute. We're now turning over onto our fronts. We are going to put the pole by our feet in this direction. Now, if you've got your shoes off, please be aware you keep on a mat. I'm going to go base over apex maybe, or you can put your shoes back on. Um, what we will actually be doing is in a forearm or full arm plank or a box, we will be stepping over, then we'll be jumping over. So I think it might be shoes on time here, just for a little bit of grip. So the objective is to move the body, or lower half of the body laterally. So having faffed about when you are ready, come into a plank position. So we will be stepping first of all. Okay, get into that position, have a quick practice. So three, two, 
one, off we go. So plank position, step, step right and left. So good core control, nothing changes from a standard plank, we're just stepping over a bar. Now to add on, can we do a little hop over the bar? So just a little jump, doesn't matter if you don't, you can be in forearms, in a box, even on the knees, obviously you can't jump on the knees. Final 20 seconds, two legs hopping over. When you do this, don't drop too far into the core, into the pelvis. So keep those hips high, seven seconds, four, three, two and one brilliant work staying on our fronts staying with the pole we're going to do a step pole is here and we can either be on forearms or on full arms but we're going to step backwards and forwards over the pole no jumping <laughs> very difficult to jump with the arms i know some people do it are you ready to go? So three, two, one. Starting off here, walking forward and stepping back. We'll do 20 seconds with one arm leading, then we'll change. Here we go, change arms now. Keep that core engaged so effectively it is just Holding that plank for 40 seconds with arm movement. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Lovely. You'll be pleased to know we're off arms for the moment. Three or four more exercises to do. Okay, first one. Let me move myself back a bit so you can see my feet. Oh. Ideally, mat is vertical, she's just remembered. Because the pole is coming and sitting on the mat surface. So we're going to have about 45, 50 seconds. Pole is at an angle between the feet. We are going to start off tipping our pelvis towards us, engaging the core. We're going to be having feet one side, bring them back to the middle, feet other side. We add on from there. So if you're ready, off we go. So starting off simply, get that core engaged. Feet one side, bring them back in, feet the other side. The pole is our support. So just stepping one leg at a time, fantastic we're going to add on. Both legs move at once. Still tapping on the floor. And tap. So engaging and holding that pole. Pelvis still tipped up towards us. Add on if you want to. Feet don't touch the floor. 20 seconds to go. So keep that C curve in the lower back. Reaching out, pole is our support. Here we go, three, two, one. Wonderful. Oh, excuse me, faffing around with the mat, you don't have to. Just, I am now turning back this way because I'm going to be, the last two exercises are in a mermaid position. First one going to be all about a close mermaid. May or may not be easier with shoes off, I never know. So what we are going to do is sit up, it's only 40 seconds, so this is all about moving this lower leg up to touch the bar. If you don't like that, absolutely fine, just lift, lean away, lift and lift and lift. Lots of variations on here. Otherwise, sit up straight, hold the bar in front of us. We're going to lift and tap for 20 seconds. 
Knee is high, tap on the outside of the foot. Off we go. I'll stop the clock at 20 seconds. Tap and tap. So you should feel it, outer hip, outer thigh. Wonderful. We've got 12 seconds to go this side. Should really be feeling it and engage that core. Three, two, one. Change sides here. So again, quite a close mermaid. Knee on top of one another, we're going to tap and hold. Off we go. So tap and tap. Holding that core solid. Moving this leg. This is, I apologize if I'm not demonstrating this well. My legs do not like this one. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, right, short break. Last exercise is going to be a mermaid, a wider mermaid this time. We're going to do probably about 25, 30 seconds each side. So this leg is my support. So get it nice and strong, 45 degrees. And what we're going to do is lean and lean. So be prepared for left and right leaning. The add-on is then lean, lean. So we are, only thing touching the floor is that leg. 40 seconds each leg. Joy. And then we're done. So if you're ready, start off with the leg on the floor. This nice and solid, we are simply going to lean away. Two, one, stretch and sit up and stretch long. So if you can, squeeze the hands together on the bar. It might be the last thing you're thinking about at the moment. Now, if you would like to add in that top leg, so draw it in, stretch it out, draw it in, stretch it out. Keep that top foot pointing to the front. We have 15 seconds left and breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful work. Oh, let's do the other side. Get it done. Okay, so nice solid base, whatever works for you in terms of front leg. This back leg at the moment is a support. We're just going to use the arms. First few seconds, off we go. So reach and up, reach, up. reach and up, reach, lovely. And when my music's gone, just carry on. Oh, there we go. And reach, and reach. Now add in the leg if you want to. We've got 15 seconds. Stretch and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant work. We are done. Poles down. We're going to cool off. Bring the arms out to the sides. Knees together. Make sure the lower back doesn't arch and drop the knees one way. So we're now stretching out that lower back that has been working an awful lot throughout the whole routine sharp with that lower leg and we're going to drop down the other side. Okay. Breathe into that stretch. That's great. Bringing the knees up to point to the ceiling. Bring them now up to the chest. Sweep the arms round, grab behind the thighs and just pull through. So we're stretching off that lower back. The aim is to lift pelvis and the hips off the mat. Hug to the body and if you want to just rock left and right, massaging through. Fantastic. Four 
and three, two, one. Lovely. Drop the feet back down. We're going to lift one leg to the ceiling in a hamstring stretch. So hold behind the thigh or behind the calf and just walk that leg towards us. Feel that tug in the hamstring. Should be uncomfortable, not painful. If you need to, just walk that leg a little bit nearer as the stretch dies off. So four, three, two, and one. Let's swap legs. So start off, get that stretch. Hold it here. Do nothing else, just hold it. And if the stretch begins to die down, just walk that leg a little bit closer to the body, absorbing that stretch, keeping pace with it. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Wonderful. Now, ooh. final two stretches either side. So lay on our sides, so one side. First stretch is to just stretch the quad, so upper leg. Put the foot in the palm of the hand and do a quad stretch laying down. So hips are pushing forwards, knees are together. Just stretch out through that quad. They've worked in the uh, front and lateral lunges. Stretching here. Two, one. Bring the knees together, bring the ankles together. And now hands out the front, we're going to do a chest stretch. So sweep across, open up, keeping those knees together. Push those hands apart, so we're really stretching now through the upper back. We've been working that back and shoulders, so really extend through that part of the body. Stretching the shoulders, stretching the upper back. While we're here, Lengthen that lower leg, let that top knee roll forward and we're stretching through the whole of the body. So feel it in the mid back. Holding here. Brilliant. Let us swap sides. You just roll over, I'll just change direction. So we're starting off on the other side, we're going to do a quad stretch. So top foot in the palm of the hand, Stretching forwards, pushing the hips forward and pushing that foot down into the hand. So just stretching off that quad. Hold for three, two and one. You've got that stretch. Now put the leg down, knees bent, knees and ankles together. Hands out the front as we open up into our second chest stretch. So again, just push those arms away as far as you can from each other and feel that stretch through the upper back, the shoulders and across the chest. Stretching here for five, four, three, two, one. Now thinking about the mid back, extend that lower leg, let that knee drop forward. Keep stretching the chest as well, but feel that stretch particularly now in the middle of the back and breathe into that stretch finally for four, three, two, and one. 